going on everyone good morning good morning let's get going in another week in the markets but everyone had a good weekend start this thing off right we're looking at may 6 2019 how fast i'm flying anyway guys so uh market wrapped up last week really strong across the board all sectors uh traded closed green spy was up almost three points trading strong throughout the day so you know the market's taking a lot of stocks with it stocks that are weak that probably didn't need to be um inflated you know we got a little push from the market so you know it's a little bit a little bit uh, deceiving um price action that you were seeing some guys that were you know obviously probably most likely would have been uh fading out got a little bit of love so got to be careful obviously when the market's trading that way and stocks just don't belong at a particular elevated price level so that being said whenever you see other uh, stocks trading independently of the market meaning obviously you know going the opposite direction of the market that's obviously red flag that means obviously shares being unloaded on the market that means there is ulterior motives going on and guys are getting out trying to be stealth mode about it but nonetheless you pick it up you can get yourself some nice returns because when the boys are running out when the markets are going the opposite direction it means they just want to get the fuck out so let's keep going let's break this thing down and get into it here so we got six going into our watch we're going to start the session with uh, cl cigna cigna obviously as you can see uh, closed down over five points on Friday session, and it's been in a downtrend uh, since what uh, the end of uh, more, almost the beginning of December 2018. So technically, we'd like a few more points of downside. So there's definitely some meat on the bone here, and we like this thing. It's just showing some weakness until this shows us otherwise. And obviously, you know, trading the way the market traded on Friday, this thing could not get any love at all. Um, we got stuffed out a number of times, closed, you know, a little bit stronger than we like uh trying to fight that uh vweb level but again nothing to um nothing to worry about as far as getting any, any any kind of rally going on so you know obviously as we always do we're going to sit back and make sure that market still feels the same way that this downtrend has been going on for quite a while so until this thing obviously it has a clear reversal we like it down to the uh 144 level let's keep going wayfair w so wayfair obviously as you see had that uh significant uh, gap down a few uh what was it on wednesday i think it was and uh it's been trading sideways you know um it, you know it's been up obviously since march but it's just it's showing some weakness continually showing some weakness for the past few days so um that being said you know it's going to start filling this gap I'm not sure yet you know they they got some news they're trying to open up a brick and mortar store not sure this is going to be what people want, but if it's showing some weak, I mean, if it's showing some strength, they want to try to fill this gap. But I right, let it do it, and, and we'll step away. But not sure this thing is happening in that direction. We definitely like it. A few more points downside. I think it's weak going into the session today. A L N Y A L N Y, as you can see, had a, a significant uh, gap down on Friday, closing over five points. Traded below V up the whole day, so it was weak, definitely weak. Uh, technically, we like it uh, come more points to the downside, so we'll see how this thing trades in the morning, and it gives us an opportunity um, relatively early before 10 o'clock. We'll step in and take it down. SQ square. So technically, te technically, this thing's been trading sideways for a few months. Had some uh, obviously earnings come out. wasn't It wasn't uh, very good. And at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of merchants coming out um, uh, processing uh, credit cards like Square does. So, you know, they, they definitely have the competition. PayPal's there. Obviously, there's a number of other ones, but uh, off the top of head, PayPal is, is uh, you know, the biggest competition. That being said, is it going to fill this gap back to the 7450 level? Chances are slim to none. I've seen this thing fade out a little bit more. Definitely like two, two, three points to the downside. And uh, if it continues that fade out, this could possibly be a swing for us. But obviously, we're gonna see if the if the the weakness is still in. Traded uh, above VWAP through the rest of the day. Um, closed obviously uh, up. But that being said, a lot of the stocks traded up from the market. So not sure this really is deserves to be uh, trading green just yet. I'd still like to the downside. And if it shows weakness, we'll do what we do post post 
post PLST had um, obviously some uh, issues with uh, sales. Um, I think they're acquiring um, uh, another division of uh, some other company. I don't know. I read some fundamentals somewhere this weekend. And anyway, that being said, it's it's uh, not showing much strength. Obviously, as you can see, it's, I mean, it's had a, a, an uptrend since what um, January. Um, but being that you know had some uh, sales uh, that, that uh, obviously the street wasn't very happy about, um, you saw the shares being unloaded. So if it continues that way, obviously we like it to the mid 100 level, and um, so it gives a few more points to the downside. But again, it has to show some weakness uh, before that 10:30, 10, 10:30 10, 10, uh, mark. And if it does, then we'll uh, set up and uh, write this thing down to that level. Last but not least, Pinterest. Pinterest, obviously, as you can see, had this um. You know, it's had this run up since its IPO, right? Um, peaked out on 30th, and it's been putting lower highs and lower lows in. So, what's the, what's the, where are they going to find support? Who knows? But until you know the, the price, till the market dictates and it finds support and starts to tra uh, reverse on this trend here, then uh, we'll take keep taking it down because every time it gets to the VWAP, it gets stuffed out. And so, it's kind of a very low risk, high reward trade for us, moving quite well. Um, We'll see how this thing goes. Um, you know, we wanted the the volume wise, it's a decent over ten to ten and a half uh, milli trading shares on Friday. So we'll see if it peaks up. I want to see some more volume like it had uh, off its IPO, and if it continues doing that, then we like it continually to the downside. And like I said, until market changes its sentiment, we like it and we will run with it. All right, guys, that's what we got going on. Obviously, we'll look at see anything else happening. Uh, in the uh, pre-mark session, but this we're looking at right now. And as always, guys, um, very very diligent. Stick with your stops. Be patient with your setups. Wait for price to come to you. If your trade ideas does not pan out, sit back and wait. Do not force a trade. Don't trade just to trade. That's gambling. We're not gamblers here, guys. All right, we're risk managers. We very very patient with our trades. Cherry pick the best of the best of the best. All right, guys, if you want to know what we're doing here, how we're picking up our watch list and how we trade these stocks, come check out the site at thestreettrading.com, and we'll sort you out on a 90-day course. All right, guys, have a great day in the markets, and we will check you later.